from our previous discussions too, you, you've actually gone beyond just document annotation and review though. You actually use your iPad frequently in, when you're in advocacy situations like an oral argument, Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. It's so great. So after I've gone through the record and of course written my brief and stuff, once I'm getting ready for oral argument, um, the app that I love to use the most is called a good notes. And I use good notes throughout my law practice, um, to take notes. It's, um, it creates a, a virtual page that you can write on using your Apple uh, pencil stylus. And I have pages that have, um, that look like a legal pad, you know, yet in a slightly yellow background with lines on it, just because that's what I'm used to working on. You can certainly write on whatever you want. And, um, and I'll take, uh, you know, notes to myself, you know, when I'm getting ready for the appeal, but then when it's time to actually draft my oral argument, I will, you know, start a blank page and I will handwrite. Um, I don't write every word of the argument and even outline makes it sound more structured than what it is, but just sort of, you know, this is the topic I'm going to do. This is the topic. And as I start writing it out, um, I like you doing it in handwriting as opposed to just typing on a computer because I may have one thing on the right side and I'll have a circle and I'll have a box off to the side. And then, you know, I'll start writing something and I'll realize I want to put even more on that. So I'll, uh, I'll, you know, cut it and then make a new page and paste it there and then make it even more. And then often what I'll do, a lot of my appellate arguments turn upon um, law, of course, you know, legal decisions. And so I will just using Westlaw right there on my um, iPad, I'll take, you know, the part of the decision that I've highlighted and I'll just take a screenshot of that part of the decision and crop it in and then paste that into my notebook. So I can say, you know, as the US Fifth Circuit said in the Smith versus Jones case, and then I'll actually have the actual, you know, Smith versus Jones with the words that I'm gonna use highlighted right there on the page. And um, some, so that it's, you know, saves me the trouble of having to pull out the, the document. And so I'll go through and, you know, when I prepare for appellate arguments, you know, it will start a few pages. And then by the time it's I'm done, I may have 10, 15 pages because I may have like a special page just if I'm asked about this subject, here's my answers to that subject. Um, and I like that when you're doing it on the iPad, it's, uh, you can use different colors. And so, and I also, uh, I don't have the best handwriting in the world. Uh, unlike my dad, who's an architect that did not <laughs> inherit down to me, but <laughs> with the Good Notes app, you know, I can go into a mode where I'm doing shapes. And so if I want to put a square um, around something, it can be perfectly, you know, straight lines. And so just for the type A personality that I have, the notes will look nice and neat. And uh, so they get pretty sophisticated by the time that I'm done with it. And then, um, and so then when I'm ready for oral argument, I have all my notes right there in good notes. And at that point, I've actually done oral argument two different ways, um, multiple times. Um, sometimes I actually just take my, I, I always have my iPad at the podium with me. Sometimes I actually just use good notes on my iPad. There's, there's a button you can tap at the top, which, um, I forget what it's called, but it means that you it, it puts you in a view only mode so that you don't have to worry about, you know, changing the notes. Mm -hmm. And so I get into that view only mode and you can just swipe on the iPad to go back and forth between notes. And I've done that before and that works great. Um, every court that I've ever been in front of allows you, um, to take an iPad up to the podium even the, the, the U.S. Fifth Circuit, for example, they don't want you to have computers in the courtroom, but if you're an advocate, you can use a, a computer or an iPad. And, um, but then sometimes, and what I will always do is take those notes and print them out. You can just export two PDF files and I can print them out on a color printer at my office. And so I have the, the paper version of them and I have the electronic version. And part of that's just to have a backup, right? You know, what if your mm -hmm. iPad dies or something crazy happens? I've got the paper. Um, but sometimes, you know, I, the, the last one I argued um, before we started all this coronavirus nonsense was in uh, February. Um, mid-February was the last oral argument I had and I, I printed them out and I just sort of preferred to, to use the paper there. Um, so I don't really have a preference. Sometimes I actually like having the paper in my hand because that way I have my iPad at the podium if somebody asks a question about a case. I've got every important case on there, right? So if I need to jump to the Smith case to see it, it's right there. And that way I can have the notes in one place and my cases or other record if I have to look at something in the record another place. So I've done it both ways. And, um, but regardless of what I use at the podium, using the iPad to create those notes makes them so much more useful to me because like I said, they're colorful and they're big and they've got, you know, cases in there. And if I something from the record, I just copy and paste that part of the record and stick it right there on the page. It's uh, it, it, for me, it works great. This is, I, oh, I'm, I'm glad to hear about this because I'm very much a conceptual and visual person and I kind of write my notes the same way. And I think the idea of doing them tablet style, makes a lot of sense. I'm gonna to have to look into that because I just love having it 
laid out that way instead of with the limitations of whatever word processing program you're using. Um, do, yeah, in do, fact, Jody, you know, when you say graphical, that's important for me because because I've worked on the notes, like I can sort of picture the page in my head. Mm -hmm. And so when a judge is asking a question, you know, I know it's on page three because I can sort of picture like that, that it was in this box on the side was where I wrote that. And mm -hmm. that just helps me get, you know, sometimes you don't need your notes at all. Sometimes it's just in your head, but I can pull it out as, as I'm talking just to, you know, make sure I cite the, the right case name. Um, but for a visual person like myself and, and maybe you too, Jody, it just works really well. 